بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس فرسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر آف ویک فورٹین فار دی کورس میتھمیٹکس ٹو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ زکوٰۃ اینڈ اوشر فرام دی ٹاپک زکوٰۃ دس از ویری امپارٹنٹ زکوٰۃ از ون آف دی فائیو پیلر آف اسلام It is the amount which wealthy Muslim pay to the poor and needy. Uh, and dear students, you know already that the rate of zakat is a 2.5% or 1 over 40. 1 over 40 of the total value of the goods are cash amount. So in Islamic point of view, 2.5% uh, is the uh, rate of zakat. 2.5% mean 1 rupees out of 40 for the zakat. So the next question is that who, what is nisab and who is sahib nisab for the zakat? What is nisab and who is sahib nisab? 7.5 tola mean 86.1262 gram gold. اور ففٹی تولہ مین سکس زیرو تھری گرام سلور اور دا کیش اماؤنٹ ایکویل ٹو دا ویلو آف دیز کوانٹیٹیز آف گولڈ اور سلور اس کار نصاب فار دا زکوٰۃ اینڈ دا مسلم ہو کیپس ون آف دیز ٹو تھنگس فار ون ایئر اس کار صاحب نصاب فار زکوٰۃ سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ دس پوائنٹ از ویری امپارٹنٹ وٹ از دا اماؤنٹ آف وٹ از دا نصاب فار دا زکوٰۃ اینڈ وٹ از صاحب نصاب سیون پوائنٹ فائیو تولہ گولڈ مین ایٹی سکس پوائنٹ ون ٹو سکس ٹو گرام اور ففٹی ٹو پوائنٹ فائیو تولہ سلور زیرو پوائنٹ سکس گرام or any cash amount equivalent to these two values. Any cash amount equivalent to the value of this quantity of gold or silver is called nisab. And the Muslim who keeps one of these two things for one year is called sahib nisab. So only sahib nisab Muslim is required to pay 2.5% or 1 over 40 of his wealth to the poor and needy person. So in this slide you see here, uh, this is the amount uh, of uh, nisab and a Muslim which have a cash amount or these quantities, uh, then that Muslim is sahib nisab to pay zakat uh, equal to 2.5% or 140 after one years to the poor and needy person. For example, uh, the, the gold amount is uh, 1110000 rupees. So what will be the amount of zakat? This is a very basic mathematical problem. Uh, if we have total amount, then how to calculate a zakat? Actually, in, the, in this topic, uh, we are going to discuss how to calculate zakat mathematically. So, dear students, in this basic problem, uh, note that uh, if, you, if you have the total amount, then how to calculate uh, the zakat, uh, you should to keep in mind the amount of zakat, 2.5%. And uh, uh, according to 2.5%, now what will be the amount of zakat for these total rupees? So 2.5% mean uh, 2.5 out of 100. 2.5 out of 100 is the zakat rate. Now what will be the zakat rate for this total? 1110000 rupees. So 2.5 out of 100 or 1 over 40. 1 rupees out of 40. Then how many uh, rate of zakat for this total amount? So 1 over 40 multiplied 11100. 
and after simplifications of this expressions we obtain 2727750 rupees for of the amount of zakat for this total gold amounting now dear student in this example uh, you see here this is a very simple problem if you have a total amount then how to find the rate of zakat how to find the zakat amount you should keep in mind uh, what is the amount uh, what is the rate of zakat out of 100 out of 100 the rate of zakat is 2.5 rupees or simply we can say that uh, uh, if we have 40 rupees then the amount of zakat is 1 rupee 1 rupee out of 40 then how many to, uh, the amount of zakat uh, regarding this total amount so 1 by 40 multiplied total amount you will get the uh, rate of zakat for the total amount now the next example calculate zakat on silver amounting to rs uh, 3 lakh 300000 dear students this is the way, uh, similar question to the previous question the previous problem the amount uh, the total amount is uh, 300000 rupees and we know that the rate of zakat of 100 rupees is 2.5 2.5 percent mean the rate of zakat for 100 rupees as 2.5 so 2.5 percent mean 2.5 by 100 25 divided by 100 multiplied uh, 2.5 divided by 100 multiplied half mean multiplied and this is the total amount now 25 2.5 divided by 100 can be written as 25 divided by 1000 and multiplied this total amount these three zeros cancel we obtain 300 multiplied 25 is equal to 7500 rupees so in these two example uh, i would like to tell you again and again that uh, our main purpose is that how to calculate the amount of zakat when total amount is given for a person so in this question since the total amount is given three zero 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 rupees now how to calculate the zakat you should keep in mind the rate of zakat out of 100 the rate of zakat for 100 rupees is 2.5 uh, percent mean uh, 2.5 per 100 or 1 over 40 mean 1 rupee for 40 rupees so for the total amount for this present total amount what will be the amount of zakat you see here the amount of zakat uh, uh, according to the uh, this rate 1 by 40 or 2.5 percent is uh, 7500 rupees now in this question number three calculate the amount of zakat on 10 tola gold and 40 tola silver 10 tola gold a person have the amount uh, uh, in the form of uh, gold and silver 10 tola gold and 40 tola silver so first of all uh, find the amount of uh, per tola gold and the amount of per silver uh, so in this question it is given that the rate of gold is uh, 40,000 per tola you uh, dear students you know that uh, that the amount of gold is increased day by day but in this problem suppose the rate of gold per tola gold is 40,000 suppose in this problem and the rate of uh, uh, silver is uh, 500 per tola so first of all find the total amount of gold in this question and find the total amount of silver so since we have in this question 10 tola gold and 40 tola silver so this is 10 tola uh, gold and 40,000 40 thousand is the amount of per gold so 10 multiplied this result we obtain four zero 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 and now per per tola silver amount of uh, five thousand so five thousand multiplied 40 because in this question uh, it is given that uh, 40 tola silver and per per silver uh, per tola silver is uh, five thousand 5000 multiplied 40 we obtain 200000 so the total amount is uh, 
4 lakh plus 2 lakh is equal to 6 lakh. Now, uh, what is the amount of zakat uh, uh, for the 6 lakh rupees? So, the amount of zakat for the 100 rupees is 2.5. 2 pi percent mean zakat rate for 100 rupees is 2.5. Now, what will be the zakat rate for 6 lakh rupees? So, 2.5 multiplied 100 or we can write 1 over 40 multiplied 6 lakh and this is equal to 15,000. So, 15,000 is the zakat rate for this person. Now, the next question, how to calculate zakat on gold of worth RS 8,000,000 cash of amount RS 4,000,000. So this is 8 lakh and 4 lakh and silver of weight is uh, 50 tola and per price per tola is uh, uh, 5000. So first of all uh, find the total amount gold is equal to 8 lakh cash amount 4 lakh and the silver amount because in this question the person has uh, uh, 50 tola silver and uh, 50 tola silver and the per tola silver rate is uh, 5000 so 5000 multiplied uh, 50 we obtain 250000 now to add these total amount total gold total cash amount and total amount for the silver these adding these two amounts we get the total amount is 145000 uh, so, to find the amount of uh, zakat for this total amount, so, so again start from here that the zakat rate out of 100 is 2.5. So, what will be the zakat rate for this total amount? 14,500,000 rupees. So, 2.5 multiplied 100, 2.5 divided by 100 is equal to 14,500,000. So after simplifications, we obtain 36,250 rupees. For this total amount, the rate of zakat is 36,250 rupees. Now, uh, this is a very uh, simple question. Uh, Anam has uh, RS 300, uh, 3,000 for one year. 3,000 for one year. How much zakat she will pay? The total amount for zakat, this is the total amount, 3000. And the zakat rate is uh, 2, 1 over 2 mean 5 by 2, 5 by 2 mean 2.5 percent. So what will be the zakat rate for this person? Uh, 3000 multiplied by 5 by 2. So uh, multiplied 5 by 2 percent mean 5 by 2 multiplied 1 over 100. And now the zakat rate for this 3000 rupees is uh, 700. 50 rupees. Now, Osher, a land keeping person pays 10% from agricultural products if the land is aggregated by natural means. If land is uh, aggregated by natural source, then the person can pay 10% from agricultural products. And he is required to pay 5% of the product if the land is aggregated by artificial sources. So this is a very important point. Uh, the person uh, will pay 10% from the agricultural products if the land is aggregated by natural sources. And the person will pay 5% of the product if the land is aggregated by artificial sources. If there is no natural sources, and the person irrigated our land by artificial uh, sources, then the person should to pay 5% of the products of land. For example, to calculate OSHER on rice crop produced by natural resources amounting to RS 6 lakh rupees. Suppose the amount of uh, uh, products is 6 lakh rupees and it is given that the land is aggregated by natural sources so uh, regarding natural sources 
the amount of usher is 10 percent so the amount of uh, usher is 10 percent so 10 percent of 6 lakh 10 percent mean 10 divided by 100 multiplied by 6 lakh we get 60,000 rupees for usher so in this case the person should pay uh, 60,000 for from the land productions because in this problem the land is aggregated by the nature source so we calculate the amount of usher uh, according to the 10 percent rate now a land produce wheat by natural resources in this question it is also given that uh, the na the the land is aggregated by natural resources the price of uh, produce is rs uh, uh, 950000 rupees find the amount of usher so dear students uh, this is very important in the problem first of all note that uh, whether the uh, the land is aggregated by nature sources or whether the land is aggregated by the artificial sources artificial sources mean like well uh, and nature sources mean like rain so if the land is aggregated by the nature sources then the um, the, the rate of usher is uh, 10 percent 10 percent mean 10 rupees for the 100 rupees 10 rupees out of 100 and if the land is aggregated by the um, artificial sources then the amount of usher is uh, five percent five percent mean five rupees uh, out of hundred rupees so in this problem you see here the land produce uh, the wheat uh, products uh, and the price of produce is rs nine five zero 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 rupees so to find the amount of usher so Usher 10% of the uh, products, 10% of the produce. So 10% of the 950000. So 10% mean 10 divided by 100 and half mean multiplied total. So after simplifications, we obtain the amount of Usher for this total amount is 95,000 rupees. Now the next example price of rice is 1 lakh 50000 rupees 1 lakh 50000 rupees is produced by artificial resources in a land the price of rice is 1 lakh 50000 rupees is produced by artificial resources in a land to find the amount of usher so dear student this is a very simple question you see here uh, the amount of usher is uh, five percent because in this problem uh, it is clear that the land is uh, um, aggregated by the artificial resources so the usher amount is five uh, percent and five percent of total one lake fifty thousand now the amount of usher is uh, five percent of uh, one lake fifty thousand mean five divided by hundred uh, multiplied half mean multiplied and one lake fifty thousand so uh, seven thousand after simplifications we obtain seven thousand five hundred rupees is the amount of usher when the land produce one lake fifty thousand rupees products when the land is aggregated by artificial resources now the next problem here to calculate to calculate usher on wheat crop amounting to three five zero 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 three lakh fifty thousand rupees produced by artificial resources so the previous example and uh, this example the problem is very uh, simple and same but the total amount is changed in the previous problem we have already discussed uh, the land is aggregated by the artificial sources but uh, at that problem the total amount is uh, at that problem the total amount is one lake fifty thousand but now here the total amount is uh, three lake fifty thousand so what will be the um, amount of usher now since amount of wheat crop is a uh, three lake uh, fifty thousand rupees and the land is uh, aggregated by many artificial sources so we can calculate the usher amount uh, according to the five percent 
So 5% of the produce, 5% of the 3 lakh 50,000. So 5% mean 5 by 100, half mean multiplied and 3 lakh 50,000. So after simplifications, we obtain uh, 17,000 and 500 rupees is the amount of pressure uh, at the rate of 5% because the rent is aggregated by the natural, uh, sorry, by the artificial resource.